How good is Renza Bando? Is he just a human highlight reel with no skill? Or is his career going to be cut short due to his own God-given abilities? In today's video, we will break down on what Renza Bando do well and which skills he needs to improve on. And guys, don't be afraid to comment down below and share your opinion about what Renzo Bundo needs to do better or what he does better right now as a basketball player. And let's make this a conversation. Before we get to this breakdown, if you haven't done so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button as I will be making videos every week for you guys. And now, let's get to it. Let's start with what he does well already. We all know that Renzo Bando is a very athletic guard and can finish at the rim with his God-given ability to jump. With his athleticism, he mixes it with his hustle plays. He'd be the first one on the floor when it comes to loose balls and make a play out of it. The only downside with having this type of athleticism is that you can be injury prone. Some of you guys may know he just had a bad fall that set him back for a few weeks to recover. This fall was very scary where it might have ended his career as a basketball player. Later in this video, I will explain how he can avoid this type of situations. Here's a great example on how athletic Renzo Bando really is. At 6'2", he's able to do a drop step dunk under the basket. In this clip, he's able to show his overall speed and athleticism as he's able to blow by his defender for an easy layup. A bundle's able to finish strong in the inside considering his frame is not on the bigger side. It makes his game even more impressive. Another thing that he does well is the catch and shoot. Renzo Bundo is able to spread the defense out as he's able to hit shots, especially on the corner. Having him as a threat on the outside keeps the defense honest and spreads the floor out for his teammates to drive. Because of this, the lane are usually open for a driving kick or a wide open layup for his teammates. This is a very basic situation in basketball, but it has helped many teams tremendously all around the world at a professional level. As I mentioned earlier, Renzo Bando's hustle cannot go unnoticed. A lot of people misunderstand that hustling on the court is also a skill. Because of this, Renzo Bando has helped his team gain an extra possession or two by his hustle plays and has made a difference in games for his team. Ambando also does a great job on his pull-up jump shots. As you can see in this play, coming off a dribble handoff, he didn't get what he liked coming off of it, but instead he pulled back and reset it for a pull-up jump shot. Here's another example of his pull-up jump shot as he was able to get the shot off on the short corner with no problem. Because of his athleticism, he's able to get these shots up quick. Renzo Bando also does a great job off a triple threat situation. As you can see in this clip, he's able to analyze where his defender is, whether he's going to pull up or attack his defender. In this case, he's able to beat his defender off the dribble for an easy layup. In this case, he's able to show his triple threat read off a pick and roll that resulted into an assist as he's able to drop it off to his big. His athleticism overshadows his other skills, such as his passing ability. In this play, he's able to come off a pick and roll situation and make the right read as he's able to attract other defenders for an easy layup for his teammate. Here's another example of him coming off a pick and roll as he dishes it to his teammate and was able to draw a foul off this play. Before we get to the things that he needs to work on, if you haven't done so, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment down below and share your opinion and let's make this a conversation. Let's talk about what he needs to improve on. It's quite obvious that Abando needs to work on his physique. He doesn't necessarily need to get bigger, but to add more strength in his game, watching some of his games, you can see some of the bumps that he takes bothers him. Adding more strength in his game will open up more opportunities for him if he wants to take his game outside of Asia. What Renz Abando has right now is great for Asia. But if you want to take his game at the next level outside of Asia, strength wise, he needs to get stronger. I can see Renzo Bando playing outside of Asia at his young age, maybe at the highest level in Europe. As we talked about earlier, Abando already does a great job coming off a pick and roll. In a European system, pick and roll is ran quite heavily. When playing against bigger guards in Europe, being stronger will only help him make the same plays as he's been doing in the KBL. Beside his strength, Abando also needs to get better at knowing when to take off and when to go all out. As we talked about it earlier, Renzo Bando had a very bad fall and was injured for a few weeks. 
the ability to jump high can also be a curse for him. Not knowing and understanding his surrounding before taking off is very dangerous and is also a skill of itself when knowing when to jump and knowing when not to jump. Being reckless out there will not be good for him in the long run. The last thing that I can say that he can improve on is being more vocal out there. You might say that there might be some language barriers being in Korea and speaking a different language but overall there's different ways to be more vocal out there on the court for his teammates especially as a guard. Majority of the things that I mentioned that he can improve on is for a higher level league. I believe that Renzo Bando can compete in the highest level in the world especially in Europe with the skills that he already has and the IQ that he already has. It is very doable for him to get out of Asia and play at the highest level especially in Europe. What do you guys think? Let me know and comment down below if you agree or disagree with the things that I mentioned and let's make this a conversation. And if you haven't done so, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel as I will be making videos for you guys every week. And we'll see you at the next one. Salamat.